Welcome back to our channel at BSPN. And before we get into tonight's review of the Atlanta All States, I want you to turn on those notifications, subscribe, like, and comment so we can get more traction on this channel and bring you more amazing content in the years to come. And also, check out this particular video because we do a free posing giveaway as well and maybe you'll be our next winner check it out as always if you would like to come work with me suitsandposing.com is where you have to go we do hair makeup suits and posing all the fun stuff when it comes to competing hair 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 love thank you yeah i went after my posting my reel this morning i did go and i trimmed off about an inch or so blended it down a little bit more to v in so it's perfect now right where it needs to be so I love it and I did it myself and this is day what I did it on did it on Saturday and so long story short when you actually put in tapes tape and extensions you can't put any conditioner on your hair you just have to go product free and everything so and you have to hold you have to wear it for 40 48 hours like that without washing it so I put these in on Saturday no products no nothing and here we are Monday and they still look pretty phenomenal. I'm actually gonna wait another day or two before I wash them. So I'm pretty excited about it. Can't believe I was able to do it myself. <laughs> but hey, I'm one of those DIY people. people. So at the end of, this, uh, end of this video tonight, we are going to do a posing giveaway um, because we did hit another 100 subscribers. So for those of you that are new here, we're gonna review the show. We're gonna review the, this weekend's show, which was the Atlanta um, All States. And then because we hit another hundred subscribers on our YouTube channel, I'm going to give away a free hour of posing. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to scroll through the people that have left comments on our channel. They just give me a, a list of all the comments. I'm just going to scroll through. You're going to see it happen live. And wherever my mouse lands, whoever that lands on, that particular person is going to get a free hour posing session with me. Cool? So we're going to do this every single time that we hit another hundred subscribers. So. Uh, we want to grow this channel organically. I haven't done anything with it until the last few months, basically. So let's get it out there and get it growing. And the more that we grow, the more that you get free stuff. So it works out. See, it's a good thing, right? So um, we are going to review this weekend show first, though. Um, oh, yes. Yay. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep doing it while the channel is still growing just to kind of boost it. And I want you guys out there sharing it. You know, this is something that I talked to um, a lot of the women in our sport about that are active competitors. Uh, there's a lot of male focused channels and things like that out there when it comes to reviewing shows and bodybuilding stuff and all those kinds of things. There's a lot of stuff out there for the guys. I'll, and the guys all work together and they all help each other out. and They all kind of boost each other's channels and all those kinds of things. We don't really have have a whole lot of that going on on the female side of it so you know we're trying to get that going and I have I've talked like I said I've talked to several female competitors that were like we're all going to kind of help each other grow and all of that kind of stuff too and I need your help too because the more that we can do that and the more that we can get this content out there the more we can provide a platform for the women in our sport um so we just have to kind of work together in order to make that happen right so you know, that's what we're going to do. So um, the more that you can share it, the more that you can comment, like, subscribe, all those things, that helps us. The comments really help us and the likes really help us with the algorithms. So the more that you can do that, uh, the better off we can become. So my goal is for 2022, I want to be covering a whole lot more shows in person. Um, I do all of the pro shows here with you guys live uh, with reviews and things like that. But I want to actually be able to do it more um, for... Uh, just in-person shows too. So like this coming week, I'm going to nationals. I will be covering nationals live, all of that too. So, you know, I plan on doing that a lot more. And the more that we can get um, the content focused, the more I can do that. So um, we need our own girl chat like the guys on YouTube and that's usually, exactly. They have their bro chat and all that. Absolutely. We need the same kind of thing. We 100% do. 100% do. And once we get this, you know, again, once we get this channel going and things like that, those are things that we can expand into. You know what I mean? Those are things that we can grow into, which is what I want to happen eventually. You know what I mean? I, this is a, this is a sport that needs uh, a little bit more boost for the women, you know? We, uh, we can't sit here and complain about not getting paid as much as the men if we're not doing anything to deserve that payment. You know what I mean? Like, we got to work just as hard, <laughs> basically. So that's what I'm planning on doing, and I just need your help. 
So the more that you can do that for us, the, the, the more that's going to help everybody in the long run on the female side of this. So thank you guys already because we are growing. We are growing slowly but surely we're growing. So it's a good thing. Um, and like I said, the more that we can help each other out and the more that we can share, the better it'll get the better it'll get. So um, with that, like I said, at the end of this, we're going to give away a free posing session. Um, I'm competing at nationals. Hope to meet you. You've been such a big help this year with your tips and tricks and constant videos. Oh, good. Yes. I, I mean, I'll be there from Thursday on. So say hi when you see me. <laughs> you can't miss me. I used to say you can't miss me because I have pink hair. I don't have pink hair anymore, but I'm still in my heels. I'm six foot tall. So you kind of still can't miss me. <laughs> So find me. <laughs> I'll be there all weekend. So um, would love to meet you in person. Uh, so with that, let's go into um, Allstate, Atlanta Allstates, and then we'll go and uh, do our free posing session giveaway at the end here. Okay. So we're going to go through the top five. Um, and the top five played out almost exactly how we thought it was going to. Um, Jordan did win this. And in my opinion, she won it by a long shot. Uh, there was like nobody even close, in my opinion. Um, I'll see. Yes, that's right. I, uh, Miriam told me that, Wendy, that you're going to be flying in too. So yes, I'll see you this weekend too. I'm excited. There's going to be a lot of people going into this, in for this show. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it. Good way to end out the year. You know, it's a really good way to send out the year. So, um, but before we get into uh, Jordan, we're going to start with fifth. We're going to work our way up. So we're going to start with Marissa. Um, and Marissa did just take fourth at Battle of Texas the week prior. Um, and my critiques for her, she just needs to fill out her glutes a little bit more. And I wanted to see her cut her hair in the back so we could see the top of her glutes. Now, I will say this. I do think she came in a little bit fuller at this show. I can see it from her front pose. And I can see it from her back pose. The lighting at this show versus the lighting at the Battle of Texas is very, very different. So unless you're like you have a really trained eye it's kind of hard to tell what's different between the two shows just because the lighting is so different between the two um but i do feel like she filled out a little bit in the glutes um her glutes look a little bit rounder have a little bit more 3d depth to them than they did at uh, bella texas so that was definitely a plus um let me see i saw it really from the back is where i saw it most i'm gonna see if i can find something from the front here um mm. Let's see, here's a front pose right here. And depending on where they were standing on the stage, there was like dead, dead spots with the lighting. Like the actual box itself had some shadowy lighting versus the back of the stage actually was better lit. Um, yeah, so I, I think this is a better look for Marissa than it was the week before. I think she's just a little bit fuller all the way around. Her waistline's still nice and tight, but I see a better pop in the glutes, um, really even from the front pose. I see a little bit more fullness in the shoulders there as well. So I do think this is an improved look for her, even though her placing was uh, fifth versus fourth, I still think this is a better look for her than what she had at, um, at Battle of Texas. Now she did not cut her hair, but hopefully she will do that next time. <laughs> Because it's still just a little bit too long. And like I even showed you guys in my reel today, if any of you were on my personal Instagram, I put up a reel this morning because I was practicing with my new hair at the gym yesterday and my hair is just a little bit too long. So I did go in actually this afternoon and I just trimmed it up, trimmed it up a little bit, shaped it up a little bit so that it wouldn't sit and hit the top, top of my glutes. Um, you just don't want that to hit and distract. And the other thing, like for me, like when it hits the top of my glutes, it kind of splits my, my hair in two versus coming down to a nice, even like U shape, which the U shape is really, really flattering on your hair in the back because it draws your eye inward towards the small of your back. So if you're ever considering like what you should do with the, with the back of your hair kind of thing, a U shape in the back of your hair tends to be really, really flattering and draws the attention inward towards the small of your back. That tends to work out very, very well for a lot of people versus just having that straight blunt across. Now, a lot of girls do have the straight blunt across and it works well for them and it's fine for them. I just personally am a fan of seeing that U shape because I think it, what it does is that you look at the shoulders on the outside and it brings everything down in towards that middle um, lower back. And I just feel like it makes the lower back look smaller and makes the width in the back look wider. Um, and it's all about proportions, all about shape. So for me, that is a that is a particularly good shape from the back. Um, that was a tangent. <laughs> 
But that was all to say that um, I would just like to see Marissa kind of trim her hair up maybe an inch or so again, just like I had to do this morning, um, just so that she could get a little bit more of that lower back being seen and it doesn't that her hair doesn't hit the top of her glutes. Um, do judges have a preference to straight versus curled? No, they do not. Um, when it comes to your, your hair style, it's more about how it fits you and how it looks on you and the health and the vibrance of it more than anything else. If your hair's gonna look broken and damaged, then that's not a good look. So if that's what your hair looks like, do something to make it look healthy. <laughs> Bottom line, make it look healthy, right? Because a good example here is, you know, I'm talking about this and the U shape and all this stuff. When we get to Jordan, um, she didn't have any of that, you know? So she, her hair is completely unique to her and it works out fantastic for her. So, you know, like I said, there's no strict rules here. There's just preferences and there's things that work well for some people and things that don't work or that work well for other people, you know? So again, Marissa, just a little bit shorter on that hair that really helped to bring out her lower back in the, in those back poses. But overall, like I said, I do think this was a, a fuller look for her. I think this was a better look for her than what she had last week. So good job there. Um, Masa came in fourth. Um, now I'd mentioned with Masa last week, she needed to fill out a little bit. Um, based on these pictures, it's hard for me to tell, but I don't feel like she filled out here. If anything, I felt like she came in maybe even a touch, uh, flatter in the glutes. Um, again, it's very, very difficult to tell in this light if that's what's going on, because I really would like to see her a lot fuller than what we have here. I'd just like to see more pop to her. Um, like I mentioned with Marissa, Marissa actually did fill out. I see more pop to her glutes and things like that than what she had last week. Here from Masa, I don't see that. I think that this look was very comparable to her look last week. I don't think there was anything worse, but I don't necessarily think there was anything better either. Um, so I think she's just kind of riding this line right now um, and just needs to needs to go fill out. She needs to go fill out a little bit. Um, you know, we've mentioned this before. She's a tall girl. She's actually taller than me. Uh, so she's, I think she's 5'10", something like that. I'm 5'9", so I think she's 5'10", or 5'11". Um, so she's a very tall girl, very long girl, and you have to fill that frame out in order to look round and bubbly. So, um, and to compare to girls that are half your size, you know what I mean? So I just like to see her round out and fill out some more. Um, from what I've seen on social media and things like that, it looks like that's what she's gonna do. It's not gonna take a whole lot. She just needs to add some pop into her into her frame some pop into her shoulders some pop into her glutes that kind of thing um and she's right there she's like right right there so um just a little bit more round a little bit more full and should be good to go um speaking of round and full when we go into the next girl this girl i'm not familiar with this is rachel linares Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. Um, I'm not familiar with this girl at all, but she has a really round, phenomenal shape. Um, from the front, from the front, she's damn near perfect. Um, from the front, she looks nice and round, like her waistline. She has a very nice um, and pronounced S curve into her waistline. Um, you got it right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Um, very pronounced S curve. Is that you, by the way? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, am I talking about you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, looks really good from the front. Um, waistline is nice and tight, all of that. And then the only thing that I, oh, okay, well, hi. <laughs> I hope, well, we'll see if my, my feedback for you is the same of what you got at the show. So um, I think from the front, you're like right dead on, right dead on. Um, I think from the back, you need to be a little tighter. Uh, from the back, the, the hamstrings just need to come in a little bit tighter there. Uh, but I felt like the, the actual shape from the back looks great. I just like to see you, again, just come in a little bit tighter through the hamstrings. Um, and that would put you right there. Like, I even, looking back and forth through the pictures, I would have put you in second place if you were a touch tighter. Um, I would have had you ahead of Marcia if you were a touch tighter. Um, because I think that your shape was actually superior to Marcia's, uh, but I just felt like she was a little bit tighter than you were. So um, that's the only thing that I really saw that I would say I would give you critique on because I think even your posing and all that was good. I was just talking about the U shape with the hair. You have the U shape with your hair and your back pose. That's exactly what I was talking about. Um, and it really comes in and just hits right there, right right above your bikini line. So we see that smallness in your, in your lower back. And that's exactly what you need right there. So that was exactly what I was talking about. Exactly the same feedback to the judges, spot on. Okay, cool, awesome. Hey, I know a thing or two, look at that. 
<laughs> Imagine that. Awesome. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Just a touch tighter because you're nice and round and full and the shape is really, really nice. Like your overall frame, overall shape is really, really nice. Um, and again, if you were just a little bit tighter in the back, I would have put you in second. So um, yeah, good job. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad I was I was on, on par with the judges. See, I love when that happens because then all you guys watching know that I know my shit. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, so moving up to the second place, which is Marcia. And we talked quite a bit about Marcia on our preview because she has not competed in like three years or something. This is like the first time back. Um, off topic, but I love your hair this color. Thank you. Me too. I do too. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to love it, but I do. I really love it. So it's going to be sticking around for a while. <laughs> Thank you. It keeps like keep running my fingers through it. Anyway, um, so going to Marcia. So Marcia looked pretty much how she always looks. Like, again, she hasn't been on stage for like three years, two years, whatever it's been. But she came back looking exactly the same as what she used to look like. She was very consistent um, in her last couple of years of competing, other than her last few shows where she just kind of chased some feedback and it did not do well for her. Uh, but she looked pretty much the same as what she did a couple years ago. Um, I agree with the critique and the hair color. Thank you. Um, I, I noticed a few things in the pictures where her, her uh, transitions need to be a little bit cleaner. Uh, that's probably just something where she hasn't competed for a while. I keep, like I said, I've got one piece that keeps flying away. Um, she, she just wasn't quite polished enough in her, uh, transitions. And again, that's probably just from, from not being on stage for a while. You know what I mean? Um, so, but I mean, Marcia has always had the same critique from me every time that she is, has done a show. And that is her front pose is killer. Front pose is killer. That V into her waistline, pop into her glutes is just phenomenal. Um, and then where she loses it a little bit for me is from the back. Now she's tight. She's got, you know, she's got all that going on from the back. She's not out of shape at all. She's, she's doing everything that she's supposed to be doing. But when it comes to her back pose, I just would like to see her have a little bit more glute. Um, to me, she just looks like it's like leg heavy to me. And that's always been like that. And again, it's not that it's bad. This is just the way she's shaped and she's in shape. So it's not like she did anything wrong going into the show. I would just like to see her grow some more glutes. That's just me. And when she's actually in this pose, again, going back to the concept of she hasn't been competing for a while. So I think she needs to update her posing a little bit in her back pose. She's squeezing her back, squeezing her back together which really diminishes her shape up top and makes her look a little thick through the waistline. So I would like to see her update her posing a bit. Uh, this looks like posing from three years ago is what it looks like. So she just, again, I mean, this is the first time back in a while. So for her to come out and hit a second place, that's pretty freaking phenomenal. She just needs to kind of update her look a little bit kind of update her posing a little bit. Um, and I'd like to see a little bit more fullness in the glutes, a little bit more size to the glutes. Um, that's always been, always, ever since she, you know, she's been on the top and everything, that's always been my critique for her is I just like to see some more, some more size from the back. From the front, her glutes look phenomenal. She's got that big glute, glute pop from the front with the V into the waistline and all of that. It's just from the back that I lose it a little bit. Um, and but I mean, to be honest with you, this is probably the best she could have asked for coming back after not being on stage for so long. Um, she still did phenomenal. There's just little things to be working on now. Little things. If she wants to get into that winter circle, she's going to have to fix these transitions. She's going to have to fix these poses and then she'll be, then she'll be good to go. Um, and I did kind of pay attention to her social media a little bit as she was, um, as she was posting and things like that. And she's very grateful and very thankful. You know, we talked about that last week. Um, and how she has a tendency to go a little, little bit nutty on social media. This time around, it looks like she has learned her lesson. I'm all about giving people a second chance. I'm all about redemption. People may make mistakes. They screw up. Um, hopefully, she learned from it. And now she's back and she'll be a little bit more gracious. Um, it's, it looks that way from how she was posting um, after the show this weekend. So more power to her. Um, I think that this is a great way to come back on stage. Even if she was to never get on stage ever again after this, I think this would be a better way to go out than how she did before. So kudos to her coming back, sucking it up, 
and and coming back and doing the work to get to get back on that stage so congratulations to her i want to make sure i make that very clear i am always always all about com people coming back and redeeming themselves so you can you you can always get redemption right so um i'd like to see what she decides to do from here i'd like to see what she decides to do from here so um that's my two cents on marcia and then we're gonna go to jordan she looked phenomenal at this show um, in my opinion, like I said, it wasn't even close. Like, uh, she has just gotten better each show this year. Uh, her last show, she did win the last show she was in two, which was Hurricane. Um, my critique for her at that show is I just wanted to see her glutes be a little bit fuller. And she was fuller here. Like, she pretty, that was the only critique that I had for her at Hurricane. And she did that here. So, um... I mean, she probably could grow a little bit more glutes, but honestly, I don't think so. I mean, I, I mean, I'm looking at it. She's got some pretty deep hamstring cuts in there. I get those too. Uh, those inner, those inner hamstrings. I have those too. I don't know if it's like a, a tall girl thing or something, but I used to get critiqued that my hamstrings were overpowering. Um, and I had to be careful about that. So I'm wondering if she got maybe some, maybe a critique on that or whatever, but I don't think they're overpowering. I think she just has to be careful of them. Um, because overall, I think this was an improved package from what she put on stage, even at Hurricane. So, um, and her stage presence is phenomenal. Her front pose is very, very hard to beat because her waistline is so tiny. And now she's got that full pop and tightness in the glutes too. Um, so that's going to be, that's going to be a pretty killer combination right there. So I'm kind of upset that this is the end of the season because I would like to see her continue to compete. <laughs> I'd like to see her go win a couple more shows. You know what I mean? Uh, but, but yeah, this was, this was the, to, in my opinion, this was her best look all year. So, um, I'm glad she decided to do one more. I know she was debating on it. I'm glad she decided to do the one more. Um, this definitely worked out well for her. Um, amen. First time for everything. Yes. First time for everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, I really don't have any other, like any other critiques for her in this particular show, because I think this is the best look she's had on stage. And it, again, in my opinion, it was like, it was like no contest. So I did see a few videos and things like that. And I just, even in the videos, like it was no contest. She won the show hands down. I did look at the, at the scorecards as well. Um, and again, she did get, um, perfect score from what I could tell from the scorecards that they published. So, um, I, I, I would, I would look out for her next year. I really would because I, I, I mean, I think she's just going to continue to get better. Uh, she got, she, every show she did this year, she got better every show. So I think she's going to be, I think she's going to be a threat next year. I think she's going to be a big threat. You know, she, she's, she's that close. She's that close. So I'd like to see her continue to improve on this. Um, any other thoughts on this show or questions on this show prior to us going into our posing giveaway? I want to make sure I leave that open for you guys for a minute so you guys can ask questions. But I felt like this, as far as the judging was concerned, it was, right across the board was great. So, um, I have no qualms with any of the placings. I think they're right where they should be. All of our published comments on here. So, all right, so this is what we're going to do. There we go. Let me see if I can flip this. Anybody who rocks an obnoxious butterfly ring like Mariah Carey wins in my book. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. So you see my, my little, cursor here, right? So I'm just going to scroll on my mouse a few times and wherever we land with this cursor, that's who's going to win their uh, free posing session with me. Okay. So I'm just going to scroll a few times. It's going to take a minute for the, for my computer to actually catch up. So give it a second here. And wherever we land, it's going to move. There we go. Okay. It's going. Let's see where we are. Let's give it a second. So, well, that's my comment, but it's attached to Denitra. So Denitra, I know actually Denitra just competed in here in this show. So, hey, Denitra, if you're on this live by any, by any chance, sorry. Um, Denitra actually placed sixth in this show. So Denitra is actually one that I talked to about how we need to boost the ladies up in this sport. So, hey, Denitra, if you happen to be on this live, hit me up. Let's Let's see what we can do, okay? All right, so there we go. Um, let's see. I want to flip this around again. Okay. Because it actually landed on my comment and reply to her. So, there we go. 
There we go. I just talked to her on the phone and hung up for this live. <laughs> right there you go. Look at that. We're all looking out for each other. I love it. I love it. There we go. Awesome. She's going to be so happy. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I know Denitra, Denitra actually plays sixth in this particular show that we were just talking about. Um, and I know she's going into off season now, just needs to grow a little bit, but, uh, yeah, going back to what her look was, she, this was an improved look for her too, from the last show she did as well. So she was really happy about, um, her, her stand, her, uh, finish at the show. She did make first call out and she did play sixth. So congratulations to Denitra. Um, yeah. And let her know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to do these, these giveaways just like that. Uh, as we grow every new 100 subscribers that we get, we'll do another giveaway. And that's exactly how we're going to do it. It's just going to, I'm just going to scroll and wherever we land, that's where we're going to, that's where we're going to, um, give away the posing session. Okay. So yay. <laughs> and I do try to go through and I do try to comment and reply to as many people as I can. I miss some people, obviously, but I do try to try to reply to all the comments when you get them on there. And also when you have questions, a lot of times the questions that come in on YouTube inspire live feeds for us to do here. So feel free to ask questions because if I can expand upon it and create an actual live feed from it, I will. So feel free to ask. Um, with that... That is our review for the week. Um, and we have nationals coming up this week. Um, like I said, the more that you can just share that stuff, the better off we're all gonna be. And I will get lots of footage from nationals. We have several girls competing that are definitely contenders. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see how they do. And I'm excited to maybe we'll bring home some, some pro cars this weekend, you know? Thank you for the feedback. This is my second pro show, so it was really cool hearing my name on your video. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that uh, that you're here to hear it. And I also am glad that you're here to, to tell me what your feedback was as well, because I enjoy that aspect of it. You know, a lot of times I'm just going on my, my best educated guess by what I have in front of me, but I wasn't there at the show. <clears throat> and I always preface that whenever I do these critiques and things like that, I wasn't there, I wasn't in the judge's seat, so I'm just going based on what I see. So it's nice when we have a competitor who comes on and actually confirms that what I saw is what the judges saw too. So that's pretty awesome. So congratulations. Um, that was a great finish for you. Um, and I'm assuming that's probably it for the year for you since there are no more pro shows left. <laughs> but that's a great way to go out uh, for your for your next season, right? And get up on that radar for next season. So that's awesome. Hope you guys had a great weekend again. If you want to work with me, suitsimposing.com is where you have to go. Um, for those of you that are going to nationals that, I, that are on my list for hair and makeup, I'll be getting your um, schedules out tonight. Uh, and that's it. That's all I got. So have a great rest of your night. I'll see you back here tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good night, you guys. Bye. And before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and show us some love. We thank you so much for all of your support. And we'll see you back here next time.